I'm not naked. Okay, that did not prove my point at all. Yeah, it's basically like a narcissist book that I'm gonna force my kids to look at. Hopefully some lemon drop martinis will make that go away. gotta put you down here um i'm sorry for the bad angle but i'm going into the office this is my week where i have to go in my hair is actually looking like a good color uh i don't know if it's like all blondes but my blonde is super bipolar like the shade that it looks depends on so many things and right now it's a good shade but yeah i have training today so i'm gonna be in zoom all day long which is fine look at the cute lunchbox that i got from target it like matches my bag that y'all know that i always wear the one from amazon it matches it perfectly um it's from target it's like stocked full I'm trying to bring my lunch all of this week so i have like a salad with some snacks um and i've got my celsius my mom told me that there's cyanide in here what a crazy girl um so yeah i I bet there's not cyanide. Sorry if the blinker is annoying, but you know, I bet there's not that good of ingredients, but whatever. And then I got my water bottle. This one is from Walmart. Y'all haven't seen me talk about this before. But yeah. Happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Macy. And let's get the day started. Okay. I'm not naked. Okay. That did not prove my point at all. I've got a little, um, asymmetrical top on but we're about to go get drinks i'm a little annoyed because the plans keep changing and i'm not anything if not a planner um i like to know exactly what time and exactly where we're going and the place has been changed like four times the time keeps getting extended and i'm really annoyed but it's like 5 45 i came home changed real quick and we're about to go um my stomach has been hurting really 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 bad like stabbing pain so i don't know what's going on hopefully some lemon drop martinis will make that go away <laughs> good morning it's tuesday i'm exhausted um yeah I was supposed to wake up at 6 to go to the gym and then I was also going to like study because I need to study for my test. Yesterday I woke up at 6 and went to the gym but today I have to start getting ready at 7. I woke up at 7.01 but here's the outfit. The pants are a little long but with heels they're fine. These are from Princess Polly and then this top is from Shein and then I'm just going to wear my like everyday heels that I wear, wear, can't talk, that I wear to work. We've got my Celsius, hoping this will kick in soon. We're in the car. It's a little bit better of an angle when I'm not driving. <sighs> but yeah, it's Tuesday. Um, yesterday was a good day. Like it was overall fun. My salad was really good. But it's just like coming into the office can be so exhausting and which is so crazy because like people go into work every single day like i know that and i'm so grateful that half of my i mean more than half my job is work from home I'm, like super grateful for that but almost what i'm saying is like it's so strange like how when you're not used to something anymore like i used to come to work every single day and then when i started working here i just work from home most of the time so it's so crazy how you can like adjust to things and feel totally like thrown off I just need, I said this in my last, last, like two months ago, I need to get my in-office morning routine down. I need to start waking up early. I go to bed like at 9.30, but then I woke up at 2 because I had to be, it's just like a whole thing. Well, it's Monday of the next week. Is anyone really surprised? When I'm in office, like, I just suck at being a vlogger. 
it's just I feel like I don't do anything in the mornings I don't do anything in the afternoon I can't record while I'm at work so it's just pointless to be honest <laughs> but I had such a great weekend so um if you know what activate is I went there for tiktok um they invited me because my first time I went to activate my tiktok had like over 2 million views so they invited me again which was really fun and then um I signed a contract with evo if you don't know what evo is it's like a huge like entertainment place they have movies bowling all that um so we went there and we saw the movie tarot which was really dumb don't watch it <laughs> but i liked the actresses that were in it so that was good and then sunday we had a brunch for one of our friends birthday it was really really fun but i'm exhausted it's 9.06. I literally just woke up and had to be straight in meetings. And I'm in meetings all day. Um, but they're on break right now. Yeah, just wanted to check in. Sorry that it's going to be like a hybrid style vlog. Because we're working from home now. Which is good. Um, I have no groceries. I'm waiting for my Target to be delivered. But I need to get back on track with like my workouts. And my diet. Y'all are in my fridge. But quick little Target haul. First thing, I got a thing of mini Diet Cokes, of course. This is my favorite salad kit. It's the Buffalo Ranch one from Target. Super delicious. Raspberries. Strawberries. I didn't know, like, I don't know if you can tell, but this is a huge thing of strawberries. I didn't know that I ordered this, but hopefully it was, like, a good price. Not, like, $15. Some um, boiled eggs. I know I could probably boil my own eggs, but, or I could buy them pre-boil. You know, make your own decision. And then I got some egg whites. This is like, do not follow my advice with this, okay? Warning, do not listen to me. But I paid like $700 this one time to have like a trainer and a nutritionist. They were like a couple. And I was like 18 years old and they told me that I just could only eat egg whites for like a month. Okay, did I do that? No, that's crazy. Like, I can't believe they told me to do that and they would like get mad if I told them that I didn't just eat egg whites. But with that being said, my brother's graduation is Friday and I wanna like look really like good. So I'm gonna try to eat egg whites, <laughs> gonna try to eat egg whites only for like four days and see what happens. Again, I, I'm not a doctor, don't listen to me. And then I got these little, I think I ordered chomps, but they gave me these instead. They're like little turkey pepperoni sticks. Some chicken and maple chicken sausage. These are really, really good. I got a lot of frozen stuff, even though I'm on my egg white diet, because I could keep this for a while. My favorite Kodiak pancakes, the ones that you can just microwave. I got some more of these real good chicken. It has like chicken breast, chickpea flour. It's like a little bit better than your normal chicken. And I like to just air fry this and either put it in salad or eat it with like some sweet potatoes. That's the haul. Let's get back to work. I didn't tell y'all about my stomach pain <laughs> that I mentioned on Monday. They think I have like cysts on my ovaries. I'm going to get like an ultrasound to confirm. So yeah, also I'm breaking out. So I'm not in my best today. So it's just going to be like a chill day. And then tomorrow we'll pick back up. We'll be more productive tomorrow. But I'm trying to like have a hobby this year. I mean, I do read a lot um wow i didn't even do a book update one moment this is like my 14th book this year i think um follow me on goodreads or like friend request me on there but i just finished reading the quiet tenant and as you'll know if you've watched any of my videos i hate hardcover books and i know that's such an unpopular opinion but it's because i like to like fold it you know and like hold it like this but my mom she is such like 
she's the original book talk girl. She reads like a book a day. So she gives me her books so I can save money. So I just finished The Quiet Tenant. I'd say I rate this like 3.5 stars. It's basically about this like charming man, family man that everyone loves, but he secretly like has a girl that he kidnapped and was like keeping her in this little house. <clears throat> and then he moves and brings her with him. So it's different perspectives between the girl, um, his daughter, and then the new girlfriend. So yeah, 3.5. Yeah, I like more like mystery who did it type of vibes rather than like we knowing who did it the whole time. That's what I've come to realize about my book taste. But yeah, really good. I do recommend reading this. Um, a lot of people love this book. So yeah, 3.5. But what I was literally trying to tell y'all about is I'm trying to like find more hobbies rather than just scrolling. I need a hobby that's like not on my phone. So I like started scrapbooking. So I got this like cute scrapbook from Amazon. This is like a little light pink bow. And I have a scrapbook full of me and Adidas, but I thought I would do one for like my 20s to like force my kids to look how hot their mom was, you know, that vibe. So this first page says my 20s, let me show you. So yeah, it's basically like a narcissist book that I'm gonna force my kids to look at. So here's the first page, my 20s. Don't worry, it's not all, every single page is me. And then I have like my graduation, my trips, and yeah, I plan on like making, filling this up throughout my 20s. I'm 24, I'm about to turn 25, so I need to like get on it. But I think this is like such a cute little hobby. And yeah, this is going to be my new personality trait. Hot girls have hobbies in 2024. I need to go to boxing. Normally, I wouldn't wear any makeup to go work out. Um, but since I'm breaking out, I need a little something to make me feel better about myself. Which is sad, but the truth. Um, I'm working with Halara on a video so it may be up already or it's coming soon but the stuff I picked out is so good actually like I had pants from them but I've never like tried their workout clothes and look how cute this color is and it's such a soft material it honestly feels like Lululemon um and then you may just think it's like a plain tank top but we'll so cute so I'm wearing this um yeah Oh. And then, you know, egg whites for dinner. <laughs> okay, I'm in my pajamas. I'm just like honestly going through it today. I need to wash my hair. I try to limit myself to too many Diet Cokes a day, but today we deserve a third one. Like... Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just feel like in a rut, kind of. And I just feel like I have so much stuff to do and so little time to do it. Yeah. Um, and I'm also having like a bad body image day, which leads to everything going wrong. I think that's like the main cause. I'm having like a bad body image day and I'm having a bad skin day. Like I'm just having a bad like mental day. It's putting a toll on like my productivity and stuff, which is fine. But I'm gonna give myself today to drink this mini Diet Coke and watch some type of show. I really want to watch the Dance Moms Reunion, but I can't find it on anywhere that I have. Like apparently you have to have like Lifetime, and I don't have that. I feel like my double chin is showing. Oh my gosh. Okay, but I'm gonna give myself today to do that to wallow or what's the word like wallow in my pity and then tomorrow we'll get back to our normal self our regular scheduled programming i could blame it on a physical i could blame it on your lips your touch your kiss you know real traditional but your love's too original. You're anything but... 
Okay, it's the next day. I'm feeling better mentally today. It's 11.30. I've already walked 7,000 steps, so shout out to my walking pad. If y'all work from home, like I'm telling you, you need a walking pad. It's so worth the money. The one I have, I think it's like $150. Definitely worth it. Um, at first, I was so confused how people like walk and work when I had it because I was walking like three speed. Okay, and I couldn't focus. I was walking too fast. So don't walk too fast on it and it is worth it because you just like zone out when you're working and walk. So it's just amazing. I should have invented that. So annoying. I just needed to wake up earlier to feel better. A mental note for me, like when I wake up earlier, I'm happier instead of just going like from bed to work. But yeah, I still need to wash my hair and I'm getting a new spray tan tomorrow. So my brothers graduate, both of them graduate college on Friday. So that's why we're prepping for that. And I just hope my skin is better by Friday. <sighs> yeah, and I'm not really eating egg whites. I'm just trying to incorporate more egg whites, high protein and like less snacking. That is the vibe. Because I still am feeling like bad about myself, which is so annoying. But I'm a little bit better today. So I just wanted to check in. I am in meetings all day. So I won't see y'all <laughs> like while I'm at work until after work. But yeah, I may go to boxing or I may go to TJ Maxx because Mother's Day is coming up. And I want to like build my mom a little like Mother's Day basket and TJ Maxx is a place to go for that. So we'll see. <laughs> I got like this basket to put it in. So imagine, imagine that, okay? And then I just got her a wet brush because I know my mom and I bet she has a lot of brush in so long because she just doesn't like to buy stuff for herself. I got her some Ava NYC brush shampoo. I tried to make everything like color coded for the most part. These little pink and smiley face slippers. I have some like that and I love them. My mom loves stuff like that. Okay, then I got her a weenie dog candle. Because if you don't know, we have a weenie dog. It's the love of my mom's life, Coco. That's his name. Um, I named him after Kinsey Elizabeth's Coco, even though her Coco is a girl. So I just got her this candle that says, my bestie with a little weenie dog on it. It smells really good as well. But I would have bought it anyway, honestly. Also, I'm going to get her some of those, like, I'll, like, insert a photo. These are her favorite pretzels ever. So I'm going to stop at Walmart to get those. And then I also ordered her one of my, it's literally my all-time favorite lotion. I ordered myself one in her. It's the EOS Vanilla Cashmere Lotion. I've talked about it so much. It's the best lotion, like, ever. I stand by that. And then the last thing I got her is this L'Oreal Little Revitalift Night Moisturizer. And then, um... Thursday so I know I've talked about this a lot but Friday's my brother's graduations so the weekend is gonna be about them you know so uh, Thursday I ordered my mom flowers for Mother's Day for Mother's Day to get delivered to her work so hopefully she likes everything that I got her um, I love buying stuff for my mom because my mom buys me the best stuff ever and like my mom is just the best no matter what like my mom does everything for me and I love her so much. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I love you all so much. Truly, like I love YouTube so much and it just means so much to me that people actually like watch me now. So yeah, I love you all so much and I'll see you all in my next video.